I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Suze. Oh, Jesus, Suze. Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> ah, fuck. Merry fucking Christmas. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Right, well, don't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. All right. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. That's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. I can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mare rigs up here by the end of next year because they pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on. If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here to fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. <laughs> 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 How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you're not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Gasmel Mocker. I do. McClary! To my office. That means now, not as soon as you're ready. Now! Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. Have you heard from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get to jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Susie. Had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Fuck, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, 
Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Myself. <laughs> now we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You do give him less clip. No. He loves it. McCleary, my office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get tough. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. All right, Roper, what's the problem? I don't usually see you down here. Trolls acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you behind schedule then? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Oh, as fucked as you by the sounds of it. You better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Quit it! Jesus, Scooby. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favor? What do you need, Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, nae bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. <sighs> well, here we fucking go. Ah, Mr. McQuarrie. So glad you could join me, and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking book on a UE gub shakes messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite, I'm sure, McClary. But out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the police to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. Here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibble, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels off. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. That's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Jesus, Gregor! Here, two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran. You remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favor. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that 
wasn't my fault. You left it on a bend at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that polluted you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Yeah. And you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this vampire. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Ted, I think he's dead! Uh, we got you, man, all right? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz, wake up, Kaz. Why are you not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? <coughs> Kaz? <coughs> engineering for here. I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. Something useful. Psst. Cleary. Kaz! Over here! Jesus. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. Or should we not find him? Help him? No. Can I recommend that? What does that mean? It means he's not all right. After that explosion, he got oil or some shit on him and just, I don't know, he freaked out, went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here, as in out here with me? Aye, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. Have you seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Go all the way up there. Jesus. What about Gibble? He's 
Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm not arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. Stay away! Douglas! Douglas! Oh, Jesus. No. You can't be. Shit. Oh, God. Can you stop? Shake. Fuck. Cleary here. Cut. It's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the under rick. Rennick better give the evacuate. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Trots! Trots! Is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trots, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up with you, man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Trots! Trots! Bloody hellfire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? Who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe. You know what I mean? I do. I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need them. Cause, um... You, you won't leave me. I, it's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, pal. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. <laughs> you got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen. Your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right? Renick, it's me, Kaz. McClary, what the fuck are you doing to my lifeboat? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done it wrong. Fuck off, Renick. You built this fucking thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. 
There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Renick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to fuck, McClary. And when you get back, fuck off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. Go on your cell, you old fud. Who's that? It's Kaz, Ennis. What's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. I can't... What was that? Christ, something's happening to me. Oh, no! Ennis. Ennis! those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I, I think it was trots. I mean, it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. Fuck knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't fucking work now. I had a wee chat with Rennick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? Have you got a better idea? Cuz, mate, I'm not gonna make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're fucking kidding, Roy. No! Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, fuck's sake. Could you not just eat some fucking jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've some in there, aye? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Cas. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, okay? My girls need their godfather in one piece. Guys, Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, guys. It's fucking Muir. Muir? Jesus. I... Christ! I thought I was done, Kaz. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. And... It's no him anymore, Ennis. There's nothing we can do but leave. Save who we can. Aye, aye, you're right. But the only way up is the crew lift. We won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past them. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But if then he'd be a hero if he hears me, all right? Don't let him hear you. See you at the left. Guys, oh, Christ. You all right? Can you get out? No. Muir was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't care how I got myself in here, but the cargo hoist came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good man, Kaz. Come on, lad. Come on! Oh, shit! Hold on! Kaz! No! Please, no! Can die. 
die here. Christ. Jesus. Come on. Come back. Hey! better than to let you two together. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. Do you seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Cad, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with a lecky. Terrace houses, Cad. Flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in a word. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, but for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit, and then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scurring up, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Here we go. Oh, don't say that. I'm, I'm here. Suze. Fucking hell. I'm losing my mind. Hello? Cad, it's Brody. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Oh, aye, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboats? Aye, they're busted. Fucking kid, now. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Then what, McQuarrie? Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Shit. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you da prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man, there's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're going to need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again. Fucking gibble. Kaz, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and got it. Aye, aye. Jennies, right. Bro, they... Ah, shite! Moose, it's Kaz, where are you? Lost O'Connor, the honey plague. Bruce, tell me where you are. Bruce, can you hear me? Jesus Christ, shite. Finley, Jesus, am I glad to see you. Aye, you know. Fucking Rennick nearly had me. 
He's, he's, he's changed. He's fucking vicious. It's, uh, it's changed much to me. Have you seen anybody else? Uh, uh, Brody. He sent me down here to restart the Jennies. The generators, aye. That's where I was headed. Uh, the lights are on. Uh, right, we're an emergency battery system, no. There's not going to hold for long. The beer is taking a lot of damage. The infrastructure's compromised. Oh, that's just brilliant. So how do we get the Jennies working? Right, well, first thing, get in that cabin over there and reset the protective relay. That might kick the Jennies back on. Go on, see what happens. Oh, I work like a charm. Shit. The generator must have tripped because of a fault somewhere. Aye, and the relay will just keep resetting until we fix it. We'll need to restart the generator manually. Right, where you go then? There's two jobs here, McQuarrie. The Jenny's in the fault. You deal with the Jenny's, and I'll find the fault. Who the fuck was that? I don't know, but the generator's all that way. Well, I'm no fucking going in there. Have you got a better plan? No? Aye, well, I fucking didn't think you would have something. Fucking got on with it. Aye, where you go then? Fuck. Oh, dear. Jesus. Kaz, Kaz, are you there? For fuck's sake, maybe no jump out at me. Have you no seen a dare? Oh, it's that prick. He's away in mud handling by the sounds of it. Listen, we are in business. You've gone to full power. The batteries, they're sitting in the fucking dark. What are you all about? Oh, and getting in a stushy is going to help us, is it? Just get that generator running. It's out in the floor. The key for it should be in there somewhere. I'll be out here looking for the fall. We'll be looking out for it there as well, all right? That worked, guys. I can see where the fault is. It's blowing a fuse back in mud handling. Mud handling? Does that know where it there is? Guys, it's coming back. You need to move. Get back to mud handling and fix that fuse. <laughs> Finley was here, but we we get separated. You all right? Aye. The rig is me though. We're oh, starting Jesus. to sink. Are you kidding me? How long till it goes under? Soon, if we do nothing. Look, I need you to come down to the pontoon. If we engage the tension winches in all four legs, we can buy some time. <laughs> What's the point? The pontoons, the electricity, they they fucking think it's a fucking nightmare. What are you on about? You survived this long, haven't you? More than can be said for most of the poor bastards on this rig. Christ, Kaz, somebody up there must like you. Aye, that's what Roy keeps telling me. Aye. Well, he's a Barnsley fan, so he'll be used to praying. <laughs> Aye, you're no wrong there. I'm no wrong about this either. You're the jammiest bastard on this rig, and we need that right now. So let's do this. Aye. What do I need to do? You engage the winches in legs A and B. And I'll do the others. Easy. There's a direct route down from engineering. Hi, all right. I'll, uh, I'll find my way down. Top man, Kaz. I'll give you a shout over the tannoy if we're in business. Done me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Christ. Let me get out of there. 
this fucking place. I need to get him. Roy, fuck's sake. Sorry, pal. I've been on other shops since I last seen you. What's going on, Kaz? What happened with the chopper? That cunt tried to go away at us, but... Well, didn't he work out well for him or the bird? Bloody hell, Kaz. Is anyone alive? Aye, I saw Finlay. We had to get the jennies on. And Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a fucking rig expert now. <laughs> Told you to take no time. Yeah, I'm glad you've not been alone out there. Uh, those two are all right. I saw O'Connor. He's one of the things, but I thought... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know what I thought, but... Whatever it is, folk are being turned into, there's something of them still in there. What's going on? Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. Uh, it's just me being clumsy. I'll take my shot, I'll be right, it's right. You need me to come and get you? No, no, I can do it. Uh, you saw this rig out? On the way to get us home. See you girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad, Kaz. That's why Suze loves you. And she does, you know. She really loves you. Kaz? Aye. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins, all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You, uh, be on yours. I'm praying for you, mate. Remember, Huh. All right, pal. Efters. Brody. Fucking hell, how you doing? Better than you by the looks of it. Did you see any others? You mean anyone alive? Well, I spoke to Roy. He's not doing great without his insulin. And I've no idea where Finlay is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be Rennick. Feels like everybody's deed or worse. Well, I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking for a fucking bright side here. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, we have to deal with the stack. <laughs> that noise! Aye, okay. All right, the stack. What kind of thing with the flare should he be looking like that? No. The main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. And if it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're fucked. Again. Not if we switch the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I Wait, can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here. You know, maybe we should swap. You can't even work the controls, Cass. Otherwise, I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. All right, all right. What am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve, main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus, I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. Good luck, Kaz. Great. Kaz, I can see the feed switching here. Glad you're alright. I've started the igniter. Give it a sec. Ah, uh, can he see anything? Of course you can't, because I'm not that fucking lucky. No, it's not working. The gas is blown back toward the rig. I'm sorry, Kaz. I need you to do it manually. It's too dangerous to leave it. You'll have to head out onto the stack and use the relighter again. Fuck. Did you hear me, Kaz? Wave or something so I know you're receiving. Prick. Understood. Godspeed. Jesus, you're fucking joking me. Shit. I'm doing this! Shit. Oh, I'm sorry, 
you off. I'm not being difficult. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. He wouldn't let it go, okay? He's carried a fucking torch for you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful fucking wings. Oh, no. Bigger man! You are shitting me, McCready. You're the bigger man. You think your daughter's got more brains and bigger balls than you have? What about the kids? The flat's in your name. You go to Berlin and they just take it away. Listen, Sus, come on. No, no, you just you shut it, McCready. You sit your arse down and you, you just listen to me. How could we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why. And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down with you. You sort this. Whatever you have to do, I don't care. If you sort this or I will leave you, you understand me? Sus, look, I'm really sorry. Had just enough, okay? Just, just get out of my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital today, eh? That might make a nice change for you. No, I didn't mean that. Why, why do you have to? Ah, Sus. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Sus. Finley, Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you no dead? I thought I was. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we can cut ourselves loose and quick like, we'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley, good, let's get us. I thought... Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye, we float the rig. I'll dive down, release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both to bring control. It's mine. Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck up. It is so fucking hot on the accommodation roof. I don't know how long I can look without insulin. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is anybody out there? You have to get to marine control with Finlay. Please. It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? Why can't I just leave him? I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. <clears throat> but I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step, and if you're underwater, stay calm. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough! You both know what you're doing, so let's go. Right, yeah, Brody. Oh, you're there, all right, McCleary. I'm coming, Roy. Talk to me, big man. Come on, come on. Roy? Roy, wake up, you prick. Please, wake up. Wake up, come on. Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me here. Please, big man, come on back. Christ, don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I going to tell Sus? Hey. 
I mean, she's going to fucking kill me, man, you know? She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what am I going to tell them? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your Uncle Roy's not coming home. I I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I loved him. Better answer. Who's this? Friendly Cass. You got to know he's good. But Cass. I walked up to admin so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and off. You can't stay in that hut forever, no? Gaz? Gaz, you still there? When you're not shouting, I start to worry, like. Is Roy making a fuss? Put him on. I'll get him tail. Fuck's sake, what's going on? Roy's no coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. God. Did I not make it? Oh, it's too late. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. No. Not love the big man, eh? I'll let him do. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You would buy for him. None of this is your fault. No, anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but... We need your help here. We're all fucking good down our lives. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. Then you need to find a way across the deck, get to marine control room, call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Rope. Oh, you and all. Nice and slow. It's all right. Just need to make a call. Yeah? Hey. Right. Here we go. Finley. I'm at Marine Control. I'm uh I'm not alone. Fuck! Is it that bastard Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's it's Roper. He's all messed up. Gas, listen to me, all right? Right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. It's locked. Ah, oh, shit. Aye, there's a key. They're good fucking news. It's all right, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now, all right? <laughs> the switch is a manual. Right. What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon, and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Now hold on a minute. Pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he not down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. <coughs> all right? All right. It's coming for me. I can't be. That's done. Now what? That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on, what? It's moving. Did it work? Fucking aye. See? Not the whole one after all, eh? Oh, thank Christ, Finley. What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us and drill ops as soon as you can. OK. 
okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cat. I fucking hope so. She's freaked out here. Listen, Kat. There's no much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. Uh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... Need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, listen. You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas. It, it's not possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. But yeah, so you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I can see that. I knew the rest when I came down here. Fuck. Can't lose you as well. Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. You just let go, and... Everything's fine. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> All right. No, oh, fuck that. I'm never swimming again <laughs> after this. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finlay, you could do this. All right. I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Brody, you there? Kaz. What's stupid? Talk to me. <laughs> it's getting higher. Oh, yeah, I'm here, Brody. I'm not going anywhere. All right, I'm here. Get him! Brody. Oh, fuck. Brody! What's this happening? What are we doing now, Finlay? It doesn't fucking matter. He's dead and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. All of them. Always. You see that? We've been fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. And we thought I won't be able. What's new our pals turn into monsters? Never once. Never fucking once. We tried to do what needed to be done. Calm down, all right? What do you mean? I mean, I'm ending this. Fuck you. Finley. No, come back. Finley! Do I hear? Christmas card. Here, my wife. I just want to get back to her, Finlay. To my wings. I hear my boy. When he was wee, you know. I, I, I hear him now. Kate. He's singing. No more seeing him again. Because there's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, God. We don't mind them coming. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, Finley. I don't know what to do. We've got to face it, Kaz. What do you mean? Ah. We can't get back. We can't. Uh, that, Kaz. What? There's no going. 
Try to stop us. Fuck's sake, McLeary. Once they're alive, be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. But you can't save them. Jesus, Finlay. You want to leave it a chance? Oh. Stick to the main one. Oh. You know I'm right. I'm always fucking right. Oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> All right. You don't recognize me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty, fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, with a big man a drink. Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> Jeez. Well, he looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut it, great Suki Jip. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that bum pop? Well, you're not so bad yourself, all things considered. Marry me. Do what? I'm serious. Marry me. We'll make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> Dad's eyes. I'm sorry, Kaz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? He loved you in his way, Kaz. I'll never leave you, Suze. I'll be at your side forever. And I'm always going to be here for this wind. Kiss the wings for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. Hey, Kaz. I'm sorry it's been so hard. I just wanted to send you this. To see we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you, and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but... He's a good man, and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. I just wanted to say that to you, Gaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I loved you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. 
my love.